race go ahead thanks denzel i um i guess in the spirit of chunking i remember when around the time i first discovered you i also saw that you were affiliated with the debt elimination system and we did have a consultation with sebastian yeah. with the software and now you know starting to implement velocity banking ourselves I was trying to figure out is there a place or do you see that that money max thing works with velocity banking or they're separate or i don't did know where you, you are age. did you purchase it i didn't i didn't. You didn't okay 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 so what i'm gonna do i'll i'll go ahead and um share my screen i just so happened to actually have it pulled up anyway so i'll show you guys what the uh money max account looks like what the, what the heck is it and what's all this hype around it uh so we'll get into it let me just share my screen real quick you guys can see that money max account here uh so this is the latest version of the money max account i purchased it myself back in 2020 i believe early 2020 to to test it to run it to see how this thing actually works um you initially start off there's like a couple of different tabs here and i'm i'm still learning how to do this and i'm going to be totally honest with you here's what i know i know that this works the money max account i know that it works and i know that a version of velocity banking works in here but not necessarily my version of velocity banking when i try to do my version of velocity banking in here the software is telling me to do something that i can actually do better and get better results so that's been the delay for me uh to simply say yeah you can do a lot here's velocity banking automated uh, uh you know velocity banking on steroids you may hear other people say this but you know when working with sebastian boyer which a lot of you guys may may know him he does business credit he helps people get access to funding and strategic lines of credits and many different ways that he he works with people and he's phenomenal he's very transparent if you ever have a conversation with him he'll be like where are you with denzel and how are you moving forward with it are you getting results um so this is not to brag but i honestly me personally i can do better than the software for most of the cases that i've worked with on my own is not to brag but it's just to say that the software is not really at its full potential just yet. So I absolutely believe in the company. I absolutely believe in what they're doing. I think this is great when you compare it to Debt Snowball, Debt Avalanche. This will absolutely beat any uh, Debt Snowball, Debt Avalanche strategy out there when you compare to someone with pen and paper versus this thing. You know, you you go to budget here um, and you're and you put in all your numbers and doesn't seem to be loading okay i think you you drew the same conclusion that i did i think i was a major fan of the organization of the of your finances yeah. and having everything in the one place but i didn't see, it was almost like an uh, not an automated but a mechanized snowball almost to me it was using it strictly cash flow and you know want you to save up the money and then basically they then I don't think you said chunk, but it was like chunking. But I didn't see a place where you could put your debt tool either is the other part. Yeah, that is my my issue is they sometimes it was telling me to pay off my my debt tool after um, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like it's just it is very confusing to me. Number one, I'm not tech savvy. So that's the problem with the person, right? The user. So that's something I like to present with people is I'm like, look, if you're a pen and paper kind of guy or gal, you may just want to stay in my camp to do that software. It's going to take quite some time and I'm still figuring out myself. I'm trying to put in my own numbers. I get a headache after putting in two accounts, right? So it, it just doesn't work for me, but I know it does work for others who are very tech savvy, who are looking for automation they're willing to put all their numbers in take all the time and it'll just tell them what to do when to do it when to make a payment towards their debt how much to make that's that can be very very useful if you're not a pen and paper type of person if you're not willing to sit down and look at your entire budget they even have a subscription model which i'm trying to use myself where you can um 
have all your bank account information flooding to this and it'll just populate everything for you. So I think that has like a little extra like subscription fee to it, which I just signed up. It's like $150 for the whole year. And it apparently will look at all my bank accounts once I've connected it. Every time money bills show up, it'll show up in the Money Max account. It'll show me how to pay my bills. It'll show me what debts to, to pay off. I also know that if you're someone that has multiple mortgages, say you got three, five, 10, 20 plus mortgages, that is absolutely a phenomenal software to have. It will populate, it'll tell out of the 20 mortgages, it'll let you know which one's the most effective one to pay down, pay off, or go after. I think that's very beneficial. So someone that has 20 plus mortgages, 15 mortgages, they're a real estate investor, they can literally hire you know, uh, uh, someone to put all their mortgages into that and once all that work is done, they can look at it and they can say, okay, property number seven in Texas is the one I should be focusing on. You know, because if I pay that down, I can get a lot more equity built up faster than all the other properties. And then I'll do a cash out refinance to then pay down this property and then do this and do that. So for higher income earners, multiple six figures, multiple seven figures, I think that software is probably very beneficial, especially say for like athletes, NBA players, MLB, hockey, any, any type of athletes that make a ton of money, but they have an agent managing their money and a financial advisor and a this and a that, you know, they could probably cut a lot of their costs by buying a software like this for a couple thousand bucks. I know the software goes as high as I think 6,500, as low as maybe like 15, $1,800. Uh, so it does have a range and it's based off how much debt and how many mortgages you have. So they're definitely going after a niche audience, upper middle class for sure. Lower middle class and poor, you're much better off pen and paper, honestly. Like you only make 30 grand a year, 40, 50 grand a year. I wouldn't recommend anyone buying a $3,000 software, $4,000, $2,000 software. If you're only bringing in 30, 40, 50 K a year pen and paper, whiteboard, an easel. I mean, we'll get a lot done. So that's like my viewpoint on it.